the thoughts that you have the moment before you sleep is important. There's no doubt about it. I've got a good routine going for many years now. Before I go to sleep, I'll read a positive book, whether it be a, a self-help book, a psychology book, spiritual book of some sort, a great thinker, Bruce Lee, Eckhart Tolle, something around life solutions, you know. And that's been a habit of mine for years. And I've come across many people um, warning of the dangers of watching a violent movie uh, moments before going to sleep. You really don't want that rubbish in your psyche. So I've got a good routine of making this uh, cosy environment before I sleep. I may light an incense stick, there'll be some soft lights on. And I just kind of zone out. I'm in my own little world and creates a nice space. In my mid-twenties, I, I needed something before going to sleep, whether it be a cigarette or a joint or I'd need sex. I'd need something. There'd be that craving. And if I didn't give in to the craving, there was a feeling that I was missing out on something. And... I learned that you're never satisfied when you're using those chemicals to give you some kind of a hit. And being addiction free right now is, is just, you know, there's a saying that the smoker doesn't yet know the pleasure of not smoking. I leave the curtains open so that the light can come in. The light will enter your eyelids and your brain starts to create serotonin. Just makes it that little easier to wake up. And when I first become conscious, I'm not thinking about my career. I'm not thinking about the need to make money. I'm thinking about being on a planet that's flying through an infinite universe. That's my focus. I contemplate being alive, existing. And I get myself ready and I think, right, I've got an opportunity here to be who I truly am, to follow my passion, to do what excites me. And with that, I rise like the sun. So once I'm up, I'll get the body moving, do a few stretches, some deep breathing. Moving the body creates energy, gets you ready for movement. Remember, it's consciousness and energy. If you're just full of ideas, but you don't move and you don't do anything, nothing, you're not going to create anything new. By waking up early, I attend to the important things hydrating yourself such a simple thing but if i wake up late you know sometimes it doesn't happen i don't always hydrate myself when i wake up late when i wake up early it's the first thing i do my water's there i grab it i hydrate myself and i just gaze out into the distance my career and what i do as a job it's not what i am it's what i do so in the morning I'm tuning into what I am, an infinite, boundless spirit here on a spinning globe, flying through space, and I'm here to gain wisdom, to own what I have yet to own into wisdom and to change it and transform it for the joy of it, for the experience of it. So I'm just gearing myself up, ready ready for the day. I can remember a time in my early twenties when I was going through a, a rough patch in one of my relationships. I didn't know whether 
whether I wanted to be with this person or do I want to move on and I went to my brother and asked him for some advice and he basically just said look just live your life just live your life and you know he didn't try to fix me or say well you should do this and because I'd been going back and forth with this whole thing and I thought you know what he's right just I'm just gonna live my life and that's what I started to do and I started to become content with small steps content with small achievements simple things like I could go to the shop to get the shopping that day and that would be an achievement and I just took it step by step and I remember hearing that whatever it is you're going through someone has either been through it already or they're about to and I thought about that and there was a sense that I just have to play my part and use up everything that I had and when I say that I mean all the doors that were open all the opportunities that were there I knew that I had to start moving in 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 that direction to get to the next step so there was no it was no good for me to just sit and do nothing with the opportunities that I had you know all the avenues that I had that I could take I took them and I took them to as far as I could and what would happen would be I'd either discover that that's not the right thing for me or it would lead to another path another way I like this time of the morning because it's really peaceful and I'm just setting my intention now for the day declaring who I am for example I'll declare I've I've always been filled with energy I've always been free another one I've always I always become lucid when I dream and that's my permission slip to shift to the reality that is more my true self shifting into the reality that is more of who I really am because existence wants me to be more of who I really am and if I'm alive then existence must want me to be alive I still have something to experience here in this life something for the soul to record and anything that I create that is new a new experience or anything that I experience is then available to be downloaded by every other entity in the universe past present or future when I get home I like to have a bit of breakfast by going out early and having a walk I get a massive sense of accomplishment I come home I'm looking forward to breakfast at this point make a hot cup of tea and I think yeah I've, I've achieved something already and it's not even 7 a.m. yet
Okay, Maxi wants his big bix. He's looking away now. Maxi. Okay, so we've got his big bix here. He's waiting. He's waiting very patiently. <laughs> Maxi's had his big bix, and I've got my cup of tea, so it's off to the study. Are you coming upstairs as well, Maxi? So I get myself up to the study, I've aired my brain out by being in the fresh air and the first thing I like to do is I check some emails for 15 minutes or so, half an hour while I sip my tea, eat my breakfast and then I take care of the most pressing thing at the moment, it's my diploma and my coaching business, getting that going and doing what I feel I need to do to move that in the direction I want to go in and from then it's not about what could have been it's about what will be